All right, first fish of the day. Let's see what we got here. Oh, did I snag him? <laughs> he felt bigger than what he is because he's kind of going through the water all messed up. Oh man, I feel sorry for you, buddy. We'll get you a quick release. Yeah, this boy don't count. Got snagged right in the back. But he'll he'll heal up. Sorry about your body piercing, buddy. Yeah, he's kind of a kind of a small little guy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that one has a broken leg or something. Or <laughs> he's got an arrow stuck in him. Yeah. Well, folks, my GoPro has a mind of its own. But we're fishing for crappies and bluegills right now, and we're just catching a bunch of bass. <laughs> All right. Yep. We got another one, folks. <clears throat> it's good when you find a school of fish. You can just sit there and pick them apart. And then it's, it's another bass. Go figure. Another little guy. Now if we can just catch one and, you know, 10 times your size, that's great. Here you go, little guy. Kind of felt bad about catching that one. <laughs> but I'd rather catch fish than get skunked. Time's got good one. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> Wonder jig strikes again. <laughs> I got the the neon the chartreuse color one on. But by far my favorite jig, 12 months of the year. That thing will catch just about everything. Oh yeah. So Don, why don't you tell the folks at home what we're doing right now? Slip bobber fishing. We were we were bass fishing and caught a few, but it's just windy and a hassle to try and position in it. So you can anchor off above the fish and use the wind to your advantage and lot to just drift a little bit. They seem to be fairly active. All right. Watch out for wind loops. <laughs> <laughs> right. A nightmare of your day. Yeah. Yeah, folks are beating them up today. Yep. Thick boys. But like a bunch of a bunch of them stock up in that area. Yeah. All right, another gill. That one's getting his colors back. Folks, we're catching every bluegill in the lake today. We're trying to get a double for you. We 
Yeah, another go. The red ear. The red ear, all right. Oh yeah, little nuggets are good. Yeah, like I was saying, oh, my bother, I lost sight of it. That's not good. Oh, I got one. But like I was saying, yeah, a lot of time it's dropped like 10 degrees. But hopefully today, it's supposed to be in the 50s. Damn, we'll be all right. Another gill. I think this is a red ear. They're looking like gills. Their ears yeah. are real bright red. Just got a yeah. Pink rim on yep. It. Am I right? Yep. Send him back. All right. Yeah, that one's got some backbone. I was about to say, Don, usually when you ride bends like that, I get excited. <laughs> All right, we got another one on. We got double? Oh, man. Okay. Nice. This one's fighting a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice sized bluegill, though. Yeah, the biggest one we've caught so far. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is. Goodness me. This is a big gill. Way bigger than my hand. Yeah, pretty bluegill. Still has the purple on her. Whoa, there you go. All right. <laughs> that one didn't like getting held, folks. <laughs> but it gave me a second to admire. This episode is brought to you by Monster Chaos Energy Plus Juice. <laughs> Monster, send us some money. <laughs> I've been drinking you all morning. Well, besides Dunkin' Donuts coffee. By the way, Dunkin' Donuts, send us some money. <laughs> Folks, these jigs, they catch everything. He inhaled the sucker. Large mouth. We'll let him go. See you later, bud. All right, we're catching bass and we're not even trying to catch bass. <laughs> oh, oh, we almost had the double. And this one's a bluegill. All right, go back, bud. Yeah, they're lucky we're not keeping them today. Looks like the fish are gonna survive the pandemic today. Another good one. Little guy. All right. Oh yeah. 
this is just a little guy. They're starting to get yellow. Another one of you right here. I think it's quite red yet. But it'll be getting there. All right. Another red ear. There he goes. <clears throat> Yeah, all we're doing is using these jigs, tipping them with the bee moth. Spend them under a float. Put them under a slip bobber and you're good to go. Yeah. It's kind of sitting out here off of this break in this deeper water. Just waiting for the water to warm up so they can make their push into the, into the shallow water there where these pads are emerging. Oh yeah. And we'll eventually run some crappies. Just gotta find them. Yeah, I was just saying the wind's dying down. Looks like Don's got another one. Is it red ear? Yeah. Yeah. Folks, their ears aren't too red for some reason. Probably coming out of the winter. Water's kind of muddy. Water's kind of muddy, but as the season goes on, their red ears will become more predominant. All right. Got another something. Feels small. Oh, yeah. Catfish bait. There we go. Hey, there's your bobber, dude. Yeah, there should be a fish on it. Oh, there still is. That thing would be blowing towards us, man. There's got to be a fish on there still. Oh, this is epic. Get it done. Oh, please be a fish on there. That'd be cool. Yep. Okay, cool. Smart Good. fish. No crap in the river in the lake. Yep. All right. And you got your jig back. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I just had to head out here. Unfortunately, I can't bend my body that far over this way. There you go. We'll see if it takes it down. It was right there. Back in action. Yeah, it's a really nice lake. Don and I, uh, you, have you been on this lake before? No. I haven't either. But I like it. Figuring this stuff out and hearing your fish finder go ape shit's always a good thing. <laughs> right. Oh, shoot, here we go. Missed him. Darn it. Come on back for it, buddy. <laughs> Man, there's a little girl. Oh, red ear. Red ear? Cool. They're just positioning themselves here, getting ready to move into the shallows when it warms up. Yep. There we go. Do we get crappy? No. Pretty blue hill. 
Tammy of Blue Hill. He's cold. Wow. See you later. Well, I'm spanking him now. Feels like another nice one. Respectable. Let me tell you, they're all nice on an ultralight. Purple. Uh, is it a crappie? Is it a crappie? That's a bluegill. Boo, another bluegill. <laughs> that makes like 60. Get out of here. There, we got a low one. Yeah. That one, that's, that one's not that bad. Them little ones just couldn't eat the bigger jig I had on there. Yeah. Well, they're they're all mixed right now, so. Yeah. All right. Don's got a crappie. First crappie of the day. He found him. Time. About damn time. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Don. Crappie. All right. That's what we're looking for. There we go. Yeah. You don't even have to listen. Looks like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I I think this might be a crappie. We might find the crappie spot. It's pulling unless it's a bass. No, I think it's a crappie. No, it's a bass. <laughs> Damn bass. We're trying to catch a crappie here. Come here, boy. Oh. Little guy. He's got some color on him. Yeah, and hook popped right out, man. All right, we're going to let you go, bud. There you go. Nice. Oh yeah, I got another one. Don't know what it is yet. Is it a crappie? Oh, no, it's a bass. Ah, you son of a bass. I don't want to catch you guys. <laughs> Who caught more bass than that? $30,000 bass boat has. Hey, like and subscribe if you want to see Mike and Don get a $30,000 bass boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got him. Good little guy. Hey, it's a gill. Oh, yeah, you would be really good deep fried. Yeah. Good in the oh, oh shit. Get over here. You got a tour of Don's boat. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, they're right up in there. Yeah, this wind died down and it sure made a difference. All right, Don's got another one. A yeah, a decent one. He's very, very cooperative coming to the boat. Right? <laughs> All right, got another one. It's going to be the theme of this video is I got another one. And we don't know what it is. 
Oh, survey says, looks nice. It's a bass, go figure. These guys in bass boats have been trying all day to catch these things. <laughs> and they aren't. <laughs> That's all right. We're, we're sort of looking all the midgets for them. Yeah, right? <laughs> Here you go, little person. See you later. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's good, Gil. Well, folks, I don't know if you can see those turtles or not, but right on that mud flat over there, they're sunbathing. The water's warmed up to about 50 some degrees. 53 degrees right here where we're at. So this water is baking right now, and it seems like it's drawing some fish in, and we're gonna try right here. All we're doing is throwing some jigs and popping them around, it seems to be producing. Oh yeah, <coughs> right. Could be a crappie. I'm waiting for my crappie. Keep saying that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got the first one. Decent, blue, Decent gill. Oh yeah. This is like long air bluegill, man. Goodness, we might have to start keeping a couple of you guys. Let's start throwing them in the bag. Like right on that edge. I'm guessing this big crappie or a bass. Decent bluegill. Get, get, out, get out of my husky jerk. There we go. All right. Another Slabosaurus. Oh, there's a sucker. Yeah, he doesn't like being held like that. Oh, get over here. Thick thing. Yeah. Get out of there. 